Arnie Schwarzenegger on an e-bike. It's a big week for racing. And we ask a huge question. Is mountain biking just too expensive? It's the Dirt Shed Show. Welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show with Chain Reaction Cycles, of course. Now, I want to start the show off this week by talking about, is mountain biking too expensive? Ooh. Now, I've got to this question. Uh, Rocky Mountain have just released mm. the BC edition, an alloy version. Very nice bike. Of their Instinct, okay, yep. right? So the Instinct, usually in carbon, the BC edition of that bike would be just under $6,000. Premium product. This new alloy version, more affordable, mm. just under $4,000. Okay. Great, eh? Yeah, but couple of Blake, grand saving. Hang on a minute, affordable, $4,000? It makes me ask the question, is mountain biking just too expensive? That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's, that's, it, yeah you would think that. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's got to be a lot of people out there who are riding front suspension bikes, hardtails, mm -hmm. they've spent under $1,000. Are they having that much less fun? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think you're probably having 90% of the fun of the person who's spending $4,000. So do Plus, you need to spend that money? Well, I'm going to Whistler and Lucky. That cost a lot of money. That cost me a bit of money. Well, the sport does cost a lot of money. The bikes cost mm -hmm. a lot of money. Protection. Then you've got the protection. You've got helmets. Yep. You've got all of the travel. Don't forget a fashion. You might fashion. want to be all that colourful dude. Fashion victim. You know? And and you've got the things like uplifts, oh. lift passes, hotels, oh, my food, goodness. Whistler, all that. Whistler. Travelling. What's it costing? Well, I've broken it down. Check this out. Oh, here we right. Go. Flights cost yes. me £1,100. I've got higher cars because I've got to get there and I've got all my bikes. Fair Talk enough. about bikes, I've got yeah. four bikes. My hotel cost £1,700. Four bikes at £120 each. Yeah. That's yeah. £480. So I'm taking my Scott Gambler, I'm taking my Canyon Torque, I'm going to take my Scott Voltage, I'm going to take my uh, Nuke Proof Scout because I want to go and ride some trails out yeah. there. Yeah. I've got my helmet, I'm going to put a helmet in there. My shoes, my pads, my uh, toiletries, yeah, my yeah. other clothes, um, swimming trunks. I'm gonna take a blow up boat. I'm gonna that's, that's take a lot of a stuff. Rod. That's a lot of stuff. That's yeah? a lot of stuff. That's, yeah, I can see what it's costing. Some Plus, I'm putting like my food. I gotta buy food out there and my uplift. I haven't even got that. You haven't got your uplift. So, so yeah. what's the total? What are we at? Well, I think it's gonna cost me about six thousand pounds. Imagine how much mountain biking you could do with six thousand pounds. Yeah. I mean, a know, say you didn't go over to Canada, you stayed in Europe. Oh, I worked that up. So instead of me going to Canada for just two weeks, yes, I could go to the Alps. Yes, I could stay in a nice hotel. Yeah, for five weeks. Five weeks. So I can of spend riding. a grand a week. Yeah, on that, splitting that five grand. Yes. Or I could do a hundred and twenty weeks on the weekends on a trot at my local bike at my local bike park. 120, t nearly two years of weekends. Yeah. If you stayed here and rode your local, bi local bike park. Yeah. And my local bike park was like, didn't go, yeah, 42 pounds. Well, weekend. I guess, I guess, right. That means you can get quite a lot for your money. Yeah, you could get a lot of free money. So you're spending 4,000 pounds on a mountain bike, but with just 5,000 pounds spread over two years, mm. you could ride 120 weekends worth. But you need a bike. Well, yeah, you do. But do you need to spend all that money? I mean, mm. there's a lot of technical reasons these bikes are so much cash, but, right, we're not the men to answer that. Mm -mm. Right, Doddy, tell us why this stuff costs so much. Seriously, Martin, why are you always asking me this sort of stuff when I'm in the middle of filming? I'm doing a tech show here. Um, but no, seriously, the answer to your question, mate, really is there's a lot more that goes into bike manufacturing than most people think. So same with any big, expansive industry, really. So you've got to think that first you've got to have all the staff to design the bikes in the first place. They do a lot of testing in those design programs before they even get to prototyping stage. Then you've got to go through loads of prototypes because even if you know you've got the geometry right, you've got the suspension layout right, it's going to pedal like you think it's going to pedal, there's still all the testing. And if you're using a material like carbon fibre, for example, you never know how it actually rides until you try it. There's different layups, give the frame different characteristics, different thicknesses, different ratios of carbon fibre sheeting with the the pre-preg sheets, all that stuff, it all makes a massive difference to how the bike rides. Then of course when it does go to production, then you have to have members of staff travelling to those factories to make sure that the quality control stays the same. And even then, once that's all done, then you have to deal with the export and the import, 
and then distribution of those bikes. Now some manufacturers like Canyon are doing this direct themselves and you buy direct from them. So you are skipping out a lot of the middleman which does keep the cost down but the cost can be put on at other ends of the industry in maintenance and going to your bike shop getting stuff fixed. It costs a lot of money which is why the top end bikes are so expensive. All the research and everything goes into making those bikes in order for the technology to filter down to make more affordable bikes for everyone else. And actually these days mountain bikes are expensive but at the lower end you're getting way more bike than you ever used to. So I don't actually think in, in hindsight that mountain biking is that expensive. You can get a hell of a bike for like 500 quid, you know, let alone what you can for like 7,000. So I think mountain bikes are very good value actually. I do like asking him questions, don't you? Oh, I do like asking him questions, try and catch him up, but he's, oh, he's pretty switched on. He knows his stuff, he's mm. experienced. Um, and I tell you what, make sure you stay to the end of the Dirt Shed Show because we'll be throwing you to six ways from Doddy to spend a little bit less through his hacks and bodges yeah. ideas. And think about next week's hacks and bodges. Maybe you should be sending something into our uploader of a hack and bodge that saved you some cash. Mm you might win a hundred pound voucher from Ooh. Chain Reaction Cycles. There you go. We'll That's be doing one that way of this week money. as well. Yes, so I want to know, do you think mountain biking is too expensive? Um, do you need to spend that much to have fun on your bike? Or if you've got it, should you spend it and enjoy it? Let us know in the comment section down below how much you're spending on your bike. And is this sport just getting out of hand? Right, let's get into what you guys cannot miss this week and you are spoiled for choice in racing because there is UCI World Cup mm -hmm. in Mont Saint Anne and EWS in Whistler. Oh, it's same country's all going on in Canada, yeah. eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Whistler. So I'm going to be watching some of the EWS, plus I'm going to be hanging out with Sam Hill himself. Yes. So Having I've got a few year. cool videos coming out with him, but he is actually taken the lead he's taken the style he's you know stolen this yeah yes this is a big year for sam mm -hmm. he's winning mm -hmm. a lot he, he's nearly unbeatable but who knows in whistler and it could happen cecile ravenel as well she's at the top of her game she could take the win as well yeah well i think it's likely cecile's mm. gonna win um but it'll be great to see someone like isabeau couturier come yeah. through and, and get a win mm. god that'd be so great although cecile is amazing so uh we shall see now in world cup downhill and cross country things mm -hmm. are a bit more out of shape because in the downhill men, you've got Omri Piron. He's Ooh. possibly about to win his first World Cup season. Yeah. He nearly won his fourth race at the mm. last round. Uh, just missed out. We got three on the trot. A win at Mont Saint Anne. Mm -hmm. It's over. He's done it. <sighs> but. Takes if, the win. if he gets a DNF or something like that, it's wide open again. Yeah. All the pressure would be on him. Yep. Crazy. Yep. Um, what about in the women's? Tani Seagrave could be about yeah. to make this her year. Could be. She strung a few wins could together, be. but Rachel Atherton never, never count her out. Never, uh, never. She is a fighter. Yes, yeah, she could be coming back. So who knows in that. In the cross country, we've got Nino Scher uh, really dominating in the men's. Mm. Um, so it could be like, yeah. could be another big win for him. Uh, and in the women, Yolanda Neff at the moment is looking incredible. Just won the European Championships by a mile. She's got um, a lot of points under yeah. her belt at the moment. Could she be about to stamp her authority mm. on it? So some big <laughs> racing happening this weekend. And Sam Pilgrim's just dropped a new at a day and night. Pretty cool on his high bike. He's not even an electric bike. Mm, it's this is new Enduro bike. Yeah, he's yes. pretty stylish. Doing some cool stunts off some drops. I like how it changes from day to night yeah. throughout the video. Yeah, it's pretty cool. cool. But if you cool. want to see a lot of that behind the scenes stuff, take a look at his YouTube channel for all that. Well, Kona's just dropped a new process. It's a carbon, it's a 29er. It's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. They're celebrating with a brilliant video from Conor Fearon out in Tasmania. <laughs> Good video. Looks absolutely mm. incredible. Mm -hmm. um, now, to finish news, what about this? Arnold Schwartz. Schwarzenegger on a mountain bike. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, he still looks good. But he's, he's got, oh, sorry. Yeah, and he's got a high bike. He's yeah. got a high bike, yes, I love it. A high bike, e-bike, um, I guess this is e-bike news, news that we're stealing off of Steve Jones. <laughs> <laughs> We've nicked it, but great to see Arnie out there on a the mountain bike. With the bike rack on a full suspension. Yeah, and I tell you what, he's still got the stand on it. Ooh. Tell you what, Arnie, you need to get your game together. <laughs> he's showing his age, I think. <laughs> Right, some racing news for this week. Actually, the European Champs happened early in the week. Actually, part of that large European Champs with the Athletics. 
So it was a one woman race in the ladies race with Yolanda Neff taking a strong win the big gap over Pauline Ferran Prevo. Unfortunately, Gunnery Starley snapped her chain, so it didn't feature at all. In the men's race, it was a Swiss winner, but not the one you may have expected. No, it wasn't Nino Schurter. He was actually off in Monza and getting an early start, trying to get ready for that race this weekend. It was Lars Foster who took the win from Italian rider uh, Luca Bredow in third place. It was David Valero. Races to look forward to this weekend. Uh, Germany and Bulgaria will be hosting their national enduro championships. Plus there's the Leadville 100 and Breck Epic taking place in the USA. Right, fact of the week this week. Mont Saint Anne has been a World Cup venue since the very start. It's actually been there for 26 years in a row. But long before that, Mont Saint Anne's first mountain bike race was a local one which took place in 1983, where 30 riders raced on cross country ski run. Some wearing just cycling caps as helmets weren't mandatory yet. The first World Cup cross country winners at Mont Saint Anne back in 91 were Daryl Price and Sarah Ballantyne. When the Daniel first started there in 1993, it was the legends John Tomac and Missy Giovi. It is also Greg Minar's 20th Mont Saint Anne. Incredible. Fails and bells, where you guys have been uploading your cool crashes and your fails and your near misses. Have you got anyone to get us in the mood, Mr. Ashton? Mate, I have got one to get you in the mood. It's okay. from William. He's in Kent in the UK. Ooh. Um, I see a puddle. You're going to love this. Oh, like, oh, he's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> It went in slow mo. You went. Oh, rrr, rrr, that bang. is the worst because William now is self filming and he's a guy in the woods who's oh, trying not he, to look stupid. Yeah. He, well, oh. to be honest, look a bit silly. Look a bit silly, but we've that all was, done it. That was we've funny. All, we've all fallen in That's a puddle funny. and it has definitely got me in the mood. <laughs> Run VT. Bodges. <laughs> I've got one, Mark. <laughs> you can't know. Hugs and bodges, hugs and bodges, hugs and bodges, hugs and bodges. No, no. Do you know how they do it? I can see through that lens. I can Dude. see in there. Dude, that girl's doing it. That's hilarious. She hilarious. was doing it. Stop yeah. doing it now. We're talking. Stop. Right. We can just do it. Right? They're still carrying on. Yeah? Yes. Okay, hacks and bodges this week. It starts with uh, very cool stuff. From this, you found out on the trail double lever mm. front end brakes. Like this. Yeah, a lot. very cool. I love it. Right, so I met Maxime on the lift. He got on the same lift with me. We came all the way up to the top of Chatel. And we got talking, and he got off and he was like, man, look at this. And I, Take a look at this. So he, he was born with a, a slight issue with his arm, so he can't really feel what's going on in his in his right arm, so he can't control his braking out there on the trail. Yeah. So what he's done with his dad in his garage is come up with this dual system so he can control his rear and his front braking on the trail. So basically talk me through, because I can see like some hope stuff. Yeah. So you butchered it, you took the top cap, the, the bladder, yeah. yeah, and then the pistons as well. Yeah all of that to kind of help him get out there on the trail and ride some stuff. And we're at the top of Chateau, and it's pretty damn steep. I made the master cylinder and the, the lever on solid works and after that, um, my father uh, used uh, a CNC uh, milling machine to, to make it. And, uh, and It's now... pretty intricate, hey, like how all this machining is yeah. going on there. That must have been some just for beautiful. Yeah, it, man, you got to make it look aesthetically for, pleasing. For the weight, 
because uh, this um, this personal cylinder is um, at, uh, at the same weight as the um, Hope Tech 3. Oh wow! Okay. Um, it's just 10 grams more. Yeah. Than the the Hope. Yeah. So I'm really that is proud. Um, yeah, I'm, I would be super proud and, of that. And um, on the on the new one, uh, I would. Um, um, milling here oh, okay. to in there yeah. to make it lighter to make it lighter yeah yeah so uh, it was uh, it will be uh, the the same weight yeah oh at the, what at the hope take so I think proud. yeah yeah <laughs> I'm super I'm I'm that's amazed yeah. with that it's super it looks so good and it works amazing yeah and uh, on the um, on the reservoir uh, there is um, uh, there is two reservoirs for, uh, for, uh, for the for for the for the two hoses for the yeah. front and rear. Yeah. So when one was uh, slightly broken, the the other broke. Yeah. Oh, so, wicked. For the safety. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And he's running some hope calipers as uh, hope calipers as well. Four pots. Yeah. Dude, nice man. Nice. <laughs> Nice. Now that is some super cool ingenuity. Yes, I tell you what, that is a high standard mm -hmm. of hack and bodge. Now the next uh, hacks and bodges we're going to show you, they've got a chance of winning a hundred pound voucher from Chain Reaction Cycles. <laughs> we've got to pick the best one. We've got four to look at today, yeah. right? And I'm going to start with this one from Vince. Ooh. Okay, now Vince has made this amazing side lock bike stand oh, okay so he's using the bottom that. bracket it's proper neat and i really like these bike stands because it's yeah. so clean it's got such a nice little bar coming in there to the center of the bottom bracket holding it up perfect what do you think of that that's I think actually that's, that's it doesn't hack. look like much no it's actually pretty slick that is pretty cool i quite like that one vince that's that's good that's good that's it really good. and i quite like the scott spark as well right. right i got one yes from gerson 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 I'm guessing he needed some clothes hangers. Yes. And he has some carbon rims. Carbon rims! And he's cutting yes. the carbon rim. Yeah, but it looks like you can get about four coat get hangers four. out of Yeah, the you could. Yeah, yeah. Do Reynolds you know what? carbon. I'm really, some... I really like that. I actually like that. It's like a premium we coat hanger. We need that in the shed because we've got we do. some. Yeah, that we is do good. Need we that. need some carbon. That is very good. Well done, Gersom. You're in there. Mm. You're in the battle right mm -hmm, now. What mm -hmm. about this from Miles? Doesn't look like much, right? I can't see. It looks what like a seeing, nice common cell that's seeing, winning the downhill. Yeah, what you're seeing is a beautiful bike. Mm. We know that. But yeah. look at that rear shock, right? No, yeah, it's an orange He's one. He's gone to the trouble of powder coating oh, it just no to way. pro it up. To match his fox yeah, books. Yeah, tell you what, I really like this. Now that is a hack. Yeah, but I, with someone with a bike like that, I sort of loathe to give him a hundred pound voucher. It looks yeah, like right. He's doing yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's mm -hmm. a very mm -hmm. good hack, that. Yeah. I like it a lot. What else? That is what you got, Blake? Ooh, well, it's Friday. Go on, our way up. And we got cake. Cake. It's Look at this. Zach's birthday. I'm guessing it's Zach because it says it there. It's Zach, it's Zach. Happy birthday, Zach. That's Happy a very, birthday, Zach. That's a very nice looking cake. I guess this is, it was in the past because he sent us the picture yes. of it. Yes, Anyway, yes. so, well, happy birthday for yeah, that. Day. Yeah, best wishes. Um, that's a nice bit of cake art. I like it. We do yeah. like to see your mountain bike cakes, but I don't think it's a winner. I think we've got to pick a winner. I, I think I know who it is, Mr. Ashton. Oh, I think on, we dude. both need. Well, you're going to give a hundred pound away, right? I so take I'm it just... serious. I'm serious. Go on then. Gerson wins. Gerson wins with coat hangers. He wins with the coat hangers. Carbon coat hangers. I like it. A hundred pounds. Right? hundred pounds. But you've got to tell us what you do with that hundred pounds in Chain Reaction Cycles. Um, well done. Thanks for getting involved. And remember, if you want to get involved in hacks and bodges, bike vault, if you want to send us in a viewer edit, or if you've got a fail and bail, go to our uploader, upload.gmbn.com, and you can upload all of your stuff there. Tell us all about yourself, mm. um, and all about that piece of content you want to show us. And it could be on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Caption contest, here's last week's photo. <laughs> Oh man, do you remember that cake? That cake stunk. Oh my god, it that stunk. was bad. Honestly, smell-o-vision was necessary to really experience how bad mm -hmm. that cake was. <laughs> um, here's some captions, trying to win a GMBM water bottle, of course. Uh, first one is from Faux3NixMatt. Mm. Catchy. Catchy. Uh, when Blake brings Martin that bag of fresh vegan cookies. Now that is nasty. That's nasty. Because was... vegan cookies do taste nice. Oh, I tell you what, I, I'm going to... 
pro I'm gonna give some props to a really big brand, right? Pret a Manger, they do the most amazing mm. vegan cookie. Ooh. Chocolate cookie. <gasps> oh, you bought one for my birthday. It's unreal. You did. Unreal. Did. Pret a Manger. And they gave one to me free the other day. Because I go birthday? in there often, they just let me have one for free. Well, all right, we've got I one. I digress. We've got another one. Lewis Burton says, when you open a card and there's no money in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. worst feeling. Are you like, ah, oh, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Elliot McFarlane says, when the gang realizes the cake has grown a beard like Martin's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's not green, though. Winner. It's not green. I think that could be the winner. <laughs> um, have we got a GMB and water bottle? We have. We're handy. Over there. Go on. Got it. Go on. Elliot McFarlane, you are a winner. Well done. That's in the post to you. It is in the post. Um, here's this week's photo for the caption contest. Oh, go mental in the comments down below and hopefully you'll be on the show next week. Yeah, you can win yourself a champion water bowl. Just like that one. Right, this week's viewer edit is from Miguel, and he is in Portugal. What do you Ooh, think of this, Blake? He's oh, writing a love, common sum. Lovely looking place. Oh, common is it? Green. Green. Meta. Green for Portugal. Come on then, Miguel. What you got? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, he's going to nice. tell us a story. Yeah, yeah he's Yeah, he's a freaking shark, bro. Ah. That's a nice shot. He's took that some time rare. getting that. Is that a self shot? Oh mate, it looks like it, it looks is. like a self. You shot. can feel his pain because you just done your island. Oh, I've shot. just done a big oh. epic ride. He's done. That was classic. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. oh, look at him. Look. He has self yeah, filmed like, this. Here yeah. we go. I mean, look at the trails. Where's he gonna? What's he? Do? I think he's just oh. taking it all in. He's made it to the trails. That's what you do when you go surfing. You know, you big sit on, on the smile. beach. It's fresh morning trails. Like, it. like it. Miguel, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Miguel, yes. perfect. I like this a lot. Okay, Off he goes. Unclicked a shot. Oh, Rap. Cool. Rap. Rap. Oh, cool like trail. That. What was that little sound? Little drop. Mm. Mm. Yeah. He slowed down. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. He could have railed that harder. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, that was nice. Oh, that was good. Yes, come on. He's flying I feel now. like watching a World Cup run. Go on, Miguel, you're winning. Look at the whip. Look at yeah. the he's Coming into the tight section. He's two seconds up. <laughs> oh my God, this could be a winning run from Miguel. <laughs> Portugal's finest. He's in the lead. He's down the big drop. Yes, he's holding his speed. Can he hold on? This no. could be the first World Cup win of his life. He's come out on a morning. The trails are fresh and he's going to hit the line. He's made another second. He's gone up. Oh my God. He's going to win this race. I'm sure of it now. We're watching a classic run from Miguel. Oh my word! Portugal's first me? win! Oh, this could be it! Portugal have never, ever won a World Cup before! He's coming down to the end! He's holding on! Look at the time! No! Deny! He lost the time in that last section. It's over for Miguel. He goes we over the bridge. We thought he was going to win, but he couldn't hold on. It's a sad story in the end for Portugal. They lose again, and it's another big win for Danny Hart. <laughs> Yes, in the comments, looking at what you guys have been saying on our channel this week. We mm. love it how you get involved. Being um, busy. Yeah, and I tell you what, obviously, we were announcing our new presenter last week. Oh, yes, we Jess did. Jess Strange. <laughs> um, and it was really popular. Great news for Jess. Um, Pukes Newcomb says, ah, oh, awesome. Jessica Strange, mega pleased with this. Hello from a fellow South Walian. Oh, because yes, she lives in South Wales. She does live in South she Wales. She does. Mm -hmm. um, JB Lee, he says, thanks guys for choosing me as your winner on Hacks and Bodges. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend the vouch on chain reaction cycles towards a new fork. Bang! Wow! Bang! I love well, that. Well, send us a photo of what fork you did set by. Yeah, mm. yeah. Let's see it. Um, JFK, JFK USA JFK. says the idler is less for pedal efficiency uh, and mostly to reduce kickback. Ooh. Oh yes. He's not agreeing with Doddy's yeah. uh, mm. rundown on the common sal there. Mm. Oh, hey! I tell you what, you've got to be you've got to be brave to take on Doddy's tail. Yeah. Much. Uh, but apparently, mm. pedal efficiency. Mm. There we go. Uh, Mo says, beyond stoked to have a badass lass in the shed. I think I She is badass. Right. Coming up on the channel this week, we've got some great videos. Oh yes, we're gonna kick it off with Nico Vink's Pro Bike. Yeah, and following that up with Neil Race's Ard Rock. Now you've got to check this out because it's a brilliant event and it's mm. great to see Neil mm -hmm. racing, he loved it. And Steve Pete won that race, he beat Ooh. Danny Hart. Amazing, Whoa. Oh, amazing, where's Neil? still got it. Neil, he did really well actually, he, he did get a few punctures, but he was only oh. about 27th, but he still got it. Talk about racing on a Monday, we've got a race report show. 
Yeah, and we'll I'm following that. We'll have top 10 fails and bails, which we enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. So we're having a bit of a laugh with that one. And then Wednesday, how to do your first race. Yeah, we'll have Thursday, we'll have Ask GMBN, and of course, Dirt Shed Show on Friday. Don't miss the videos this week. Spike Vault. Mr. Bike Vault. I like this one better than that. I like the bike vault. It's quite deep. Bike vault. It yeah. means something. It means something. Yes, welcome to the bike vault this week. Let's see what bikes you've sent in. Um, first <laughs> what bike. A is cracker from, is oh, the first. He just says it's from MTB. He is mountain biking. He is That's incredible. The yeah. Man of man bike. Do you know what? He's a block CrossFit. Look at all those Olympic rings all around. That must be. Yes. A, a, that's a. That's the pain room. Yes, he is a, room a full serious of pain. trainer, and I tell you what, that intent is looking lovely in here. It. it looks I beautiful. Think that is yeah. a bona fide. Super nice. Super nice. Yes. To start from, from nice. MTB himself. Yes. Now that is super nice. Get yeah, Brandon in there. You know that. Um, right, uh, look at this from Troy. That's a giant. That is nice. Giant it? rain. Yeah, SX. I used to have a giant rain. I used to have a giant rain when I was younger. That's in Canada. What do you think? I like the colour. I actually. do love the colour. Mm. I think it's... It's oh, sure. super nice. Super ah. nice. Well done, Troy. Well done, Troy. Ah, that's a nice bite. I like this. Oh, wow. Look at the glare on that Kona. We've got some quality yeah, shots. Yeah, that's here. Kona Operator 2017. Yeah, this is from Tyler. That's in England. It's We're having the, the best summer we are, ever. We are, honestly. We having are the having summer. the best summer it's ever. It's unbelievable. It's like living in California at the moment. It is. That is super nice. What oh, is it? It's a super nice. Super nice. <laughs> Can't deny it. Ooh. Ooh. We might have dropped down below super nice, but it's still. That's good. another one from Canada. This is from Troy as well. Troy with two bikes in the bike vault. Or just did he got, put it out with his friend? Just got back from Shredding Fernie Bike Park. You know, Fernie? I've heard of Fernie. Uh, I've got friends in Fernie. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice Yeti, that yeah, one. Yeah, it's, it's nice. nice. I, I like to see yes, a Yeti in a classic colour. Really. Yeah. Oh, oh, what the hell is that? That's a gravel bike. What's that? It's Fruit. got drop bars. I think I'm gonna be sick. It's kind of weird. No, but to be honest, that is a nice looking bike. It's got MV wheels. It's cool. It is freaking cool. <laughs> cool. But it's got drop yeah. bars. So for that, yeah. I'm not giving Mike, it Michael's look. gravel bike, I really do like it. Yeah, it's a really nice gravel bike. But it's in Marin in California. So nice. I ah, it's a road bike. Can we? It's a road bike for the dirt. Do we... It's nice. I mean, I'm looking at the. No, it's nice. Come on. No. Controversial. Well, I'm speaking on the other half of people. All oh, right. You're right. It's super nice. <laughs> it's a super nice it gravel bike. It is super nice. Even gravel bikes it's can get super It's not. Nice. It's not. I, no, I, I like it. I wouldn't mind it. I think I broke all the rules. Yeah, I think you 100% broke all pedals, the rules. Though. Three o'clock pedals. Ooh. Oh wow, I like the pink. I do like the pink. This is Thomas's specialised Enduro Elite. Australia. Um, uh, it's nice because he's in a car park. Why isn't he out in the outback of Australia with some kangaroos and stuff hanging around that bike? Wouldn't you think they'd get super nice? That's Trail nice. kangaroo. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Well, I liked it. Ooh, right, we have got snap. a Collins Trek Fuel. Where's that? North Carolina. Ooh. It's nice. Days. It's nice, but it's a beautiful nice. sky. Beautiful. Well so done, scenery. God. Look at that. Yes. Right next up. Another Trek. Wow. This is Collins Trek Fuel again. Whoa. What's it's... going on? You can't get in here twice. That's ridiculous. No. I think um, uh, it's nice. Quite like I've tried twice. It's great. Yeah. Um, it's nice. It's still nice. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, look at this. Look at that. This is really nice. Specialized oh, hardtail. I like uh, how he's fillet. He's got the orange fox forks and he's matched yeah. his ergon grips and he's got orange. Hit the bell. That's that, a super. That is super like nice. Creative. One by Seattle. Uh, we have Ooh, got an intense is... carbine here. Oh, very, we don't get any much intense, do we? Very nice bike from Ezra. Oh, what a cool oh, name. Ezra. Ezra's New Zealand. Road to Rua, New Zealand. Oh, That's, That's super nice. Oh, I think that lake smells of rotten eggs, though. Last one is from Jared. It's Trek Superfly. Like that a lot. There's a lot of Canadians. I like this a lot. That is nice, eh? He's put logs nice. in the road now. I hope he nice. moved them. That is a sick hardtail. That's super nice. Oh, I like that super nice. That's right that, that's really nice, yeah. Um, oh, one oh, more. Wow. One more from Ron. His Niner Jet. 
Oh, that's nice. nice. Look, it's pointing down the trail. It's not drive side, but to be honest, that's quite nice. You're right, it is nice. Last orders of the bike vault. Don't forget to send them in to our new uploader. Yes. Get a chance to get your bike in the bike vault. Instabanger time. Now, what we like to do at Instabangers is throw you to a post or a profile on Instagram mm -hmm. um, of mountain bikers we think is worth a mm. follow. 100%. Um, I'm going to start this week with Christian Volmer, an industrial designer, works at Ergon, loves mountain mm. biking. Um, I really like his profile because it really feels like he's living the mountain bike dream. He's working on products and he's getting out there and testing stuff and he's meeting pros, making special bits of kit for them. Very cool. So go give him a follow. Mm. Yeah, well, before I go in the shed, Doddy grabbed me by the scruff of the neck and says, you better put your own brilliant there because he did this. Take a look at this. He's super impressed with this. That is nice. That is nice. That is nice. And so your own is definitely worth a follow. Definitely worth a follow yeah, for sure. Probably always follow him. But if you're not, get on it. Competition time. Ooh. Yes, let's give some stuff away. Mm. Now, <laughs> fails and bails. Do you remember yep. July fails and yep. bails? I want to announce the results of that because we let you guys decide between Andre and Max. And the winner was... Andre. Whoa! Great. Well it, done. It's manual, do you remember? It was very yes. funny. Andre, you are the winner, so look out for an email from us uh, with some details. Mm -hmm. uh, congratulations. Right, it's competition time. We're giving away loads of stuff at the moment. Uh, don't forget that our Insta360 One video is live, so go on to that one. Vote for your favourite video and you're in the chance of winning one of five of these Insta360 One cameras, plus his discount codes as well. And if that's not enough, we're giving away two full sets of pop protective gear. So we've got the VPD 2.0 systems, so those bigger downhill pads. Some of these pads you'll see Blake wearing, so great for downhill or enduro riding. Or a set of the VPD Air, so you may not be as familiar with these because they tend to be hidden away. These are the super lightweight, really breathable pads that you often actually don't see, so you go under kit. So we've got some elbows, got some knees, also one of these vests. So super lightweight, got back protection, super flexible. Great for those longer, lighter rides. Right, so how do you win one of these setups? Well, there should be a link down below this video and one floating around up here. So just click on those links, get yourself over there. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna do a little shout out to the GMBN shop because mm -hmm. it's a really great way for you guys to support the channel, get involved, be part of the crew and buy yourself some of our goodies. We've got a brand new Got a new one here, look at that, the big globe on the oh, side. I really GMBN. like that one. It looks cool, doesn't it's it? It's really cool, but there's lots of stuff in there. So uh, get over to the shop and get yourself something gmbn -ed. Also, we've got 40% off mugs. So don't forget to get a look at that. I see what you did. <laughs> I saw what you did. Uh, That's not funny. That's not funny. Thank you very much for watching this week. It's been an ace show. It's been really bloody brilliant. It. It's good fun. Isn't it? mm -hmm. Good fun. Um, if you'd like to stay with us on GMBN, then why don't you click here to see the Insta360 <laughs> video that Jess, Neil, and Blake made where they all did a little edit all of themselves um, and uh, had a really good time. Out and yes, trails. don't forget to vote because it is a, you have a chance to win in one of those little guys. If you want to see the six ways of money saving hacks, with Mr. Doddy, click over here. Yeah, absolutely. Click on the old globe to subscribe and don't go away without giving us a thumbs up like. We will see you next week. See ya!